wanted to make a quick little video about something awesome I just downloaded. I'd heard about it the other day, uh, but just got around to setting it up, and it really, really has impressed me. It's the NVIDIA RTX Voice AI program you can download for your computer. Uh, the requirements for this is you need to have a NVIDIA GeForce RTX or Quadro RTX graphics card, and I think it's update like driver 410.81 or higher or something like that. Uh, it's what you'll need to have. I just bought myself a RTX 2070 last week. I absolutely love it and adore it. It's a great card. And the cool thing is that it has an AI program that removes extra background noise. So, you know, it can be really annoying when you're doing streaming like myself. I like to play fighting games and arcade games. My lovely All-Stars stick got this for like 20 bucks and modified it with real Sanwa clicky parts. As you can hear, nice, loud, and clicky. So let's turn on the voice and keep hitting it. And when it kicks in, you should mostly stop hearing that. My voice might become a little bit distorted because I have this like about seven or eight inches away from the microphone. But if I put it on my lap, start hitting buttons like I'm playing normally, you should still sound, you know, still sound just like nothing's going on. Now, to prove I'm not like lying or anything here. Keep tapping on these buttons and I'm going to turn it back off and you're going to suddenly start hearing it clicky again. So it is some pretty wild technology. I even tried it out with a music playing earlier. So I have Rubina's Into the Pink uh, album up here, Baby Got Shot. I have speakers turned on. Right now the audio is off so you should be hearing this coming in through your speakers right now. It's probably going to get me copyright struck but let's turn it on. And as soon as it kicks in, the music should drop off. I haven't turned off the music or anything. It's still there. So I'm going to turn it back off. And there we go. We got the music back. So you can even play games with your speakers on. Not probably too loud, but uh, let's turn it back on again here real quick for the end of the video. So maybe not too loud, but I mean, if, if like headphones after a while start aggravating my ears, this might be a good solution to that. The downside, however, is that to my knowledge, this is program still in beta and it tends to drop down the volume pretty low. Like I'm around, like as I mentioned earlier, I'm about seven or eight inches away from my microphone. I have the sensitivity turned up on high and I'm talking a little bit louder than usual. So if you're a soft talker, it may lower down your voice a little bit more. Keep that in mind if you have the, you know, if you try this out yourself. Uh, that might be something you need to readjust, but I'm probably going to be streaming using this from now on. It is some pretty awesome stuff, and I'm very happy with it. Just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention. Check it out.